Hey everyone, welcome back to House of Virgo. This is Kelly. I um, hope you all had a great weekend. So what we're going to do is look at your week ahead and see what the messages are showing up for this week. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the readings. And a personal reading link is below in the description box. All right. Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What are the messages for Virgo for the upcoming week here? September, gosh, can't even believe it. September 11th through, I believe, the 16th. Um, if you have a birthday today, happy birthday. Let's take a look. Okay, you've got cassette, you have seduction, and let's see. Okay, a couple other cards. You have mirror and passion. Wow, okay. Hmm. So, what is going on, Virgo? Let's see. So, okay. I feel like this week there might be this energy here where you're taking a look at yourself. Um, maybe trying to change some outdated thinking about your self-image. For sure. Um, a relationship may have reflected back to you things that you're starting to unsee. <laughs> so negative things, okay? Um, you know, you get in a relationship and another person reflects back your energy and it's kind of a dance. <clears throat> so if this has to do with your self-image or just your internal self, I do feel like... Um, this, this is kind of like outdated thinking. It's I feel like this week there's a message here like it's time to change what you've adopted as far as another person or other people's opinions of you, okay? Maybe you're already starting that energy here, but it like it's time to stop replaying these messages in your head. And I feel like it's about getting to the core of who you are and like really... <laughs> making up your own opinion about yourself and being very objective about who you are okay so that's that's kind of good i feel like that's a message about you know cutting the cord on that old cassette tape not replaying all those old old that old self-talk changing it up for more positive self-talk self-affirmation type of energy you also have seduction and passion so um this could have something to do with also, I feel like this is totally about you so far. It's about kind of saying, you know what? I am attractive. I am worth dating. Um, and if I want to hook up, I'm, I'm, I could do that too if I want. You know, um, I feel like um, if there was a third party interference in a relationship somewhere in your life or in a past, um, it's kind of saying... I feel like the message for yourself is just because someone I was with chose another person over me doesn't make me less valuable or less attractive, right? Um, someone else's choices are not a reflection of who we are. Everyone ha is autonomous and has their, they make up their mind. We don't own other people's behaviors, right? So I see you kind of getting your passion back for um, the things you like to do and or who you are or who you were before something was some kind of seed was planted in your head i feel like you're uh, you're not nourishing that seed <laughs> and the growth of some somebody's shit plant that they put in your head right i feel like you're kind of digging up those roots and planting your own seeds fresh seeds to have your own growth your own personal growth okay so i do i like that energy for you this week because it seems like you're self reflect like you're f reflecting self-reflecting um and coming into who you are okay so that's amazing all right let's see so that's kind of like the overall message for the week is like hey you know what other people's decisions have nothing to do with me if i wasn't the best that i could have been it's not my fault that someone chose infidelity or to dump me for another person that's that reflects more on who they are right so i see you kind of coming to terms with your worth and your value this week. All right, let's see what other messages are coming up for you. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. So you have the Knight of Swords, Ten of Cups. 
you have the lovers in their little swimmies and the two of swords so there's definitely movement and a lifestyle change happening this week i do feel like for you and that kind of resonates for me with what we we're already talking about um making big and lifestyle changes and being very assertive going after what you want okay and i see you have a lot of support around you this week as well family friends or if you have like a soul tribe um people backing you up total support um total love and support this week so that is great and there's also this decision about a relationship this week that's being made um These are both decision cards. Okay. Somebody might be the age of 62 or born in 1962. But I'm definitely hearing um, you're in this. You're going through some kind of change this week. Some of you might be making this decision to intuitively trust yourself and um, block maybe a Gemini <laughs> or just block um, you know, kind of cut the cord with a relationship where it feels more like cutting the cord with a relationship that might have had a negative effect on you, but also making a decision to allow love to come into your life, you know, um, and I f it feels, I'm feeling, I'm picking up really strong Gemini energy. Um, and I also feel like um, really trusting your intuition about a relationship. Let me just get, uh, I, they're telling me get another card for this, lovers. Yeah, okay. It's definitely about ending something. We do have Scorpio energy here. So it is about making a decision whether to, whether to make a compromise or... To just be like transform and change and and move away and have a new beginning in your life so you know um i feel like as far as a relationship goes yeah that's a very strong message there that you're in this period of change this week especially but i also feel like some of you um are as far as maybe a career or other areas of your life making a decision on whether or not to rip up a contract um and write, rewrite one or write a new contract, um, you're making some kind of change. So some of you might be deciding to quit a position that you're in, like a job, and start something new. Like, I feel like weighing that option, not so much like a going to a different place doing the same thing. This feels more like going to a different place and doing something completely different because it's transformation so something completely different as far as career some of you might have been you work in a regular like nine to five or you work in a kind of job where you know it's the same thing day in and day out um, some of you might be deciding that you want to travel or be a driver for something i'm feeling that and, and definitely like travel and if you were someone that traveled a lot for a job you might be deciding that you want to just stay local or stay in one location in your like your job kind of energy okay so but mostly i do feel like there's there's definitely this oh you know what i'm looking at myself i'm changing it, and it's kind of like saying you know what the things that i thought i wasn't able to do i don't feel like you're blaming other people for the things that they said, I feel like you're asking yourself, why did I believe what other people told me when it wasn't true? Sometimes, you know, I guess people there can project their insecurities, um, but it's coming to the truth of who you are, right? So you're kind of like this big, like the parting of the ocean, <laughs> you know, and it's like, oh, you're, you're beginning to see the truth of who you are, what you really are capable of doing, what you can do, what you want to do, and who you are value wise. Okay. So you've got the queen of pentacles, the six of cups. So some of you might be looking back on a past relationship as well. And um, I feel like forgiving. But I also feel like um, 
I see you looking, wondering how somebody is doing. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. It could also be a Gemini. It could be a Scorpio. Pisces I'm picking up. I'm picking up really strong <laughs> Gemini energy, you guys. And also Libra. So I have to say that there is this... Some, some of you might be wondering if someone's going to try to reconcile with you. I do see that energy, thinking about someone, uh, asking if they're going to come back or if how a sibling is doing also, or focusing on, if you have children, focusing on your children or a child. And if you're a grandparent, focusing on your child and their child as well. Let me see. What are you looking at? I think like their financials. Uh, trying to see if they are okay financially, if they need anything. Um, food in the cabinets. Um, if they need any extra money. That kind of thing. So definitely a focus on children. If you don't have children, it could be siblings. Wondering how some siblings are. If there will be a reconciliation with a sibling after some kind of fallout, okay? So I do feel like there might have been a fallout with either um, a brother or a sister or uh, some kids, something like that. And looking for them or checking up on them to see how they are or to see if there's a possibility that there's a makeup, kiss and makeup kind of thing going on here let me see yeah to have new 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 communication Virgo I feel like um you're gonna be the one to initiate communication with someone that's you have an attachment to from your past who you're quite nostalgic about so I do see um also wondering if a gift was sent or received yeah, so I do see this desire to overcome some obstacles and problems and just kind of start from from square one to try to heal and repair um, a relationship or a connection where there is just kindness and sincerity. Um, there is some relationship in the past that's very important to you. I do see that. There was something about a particular relationship that was had, had an element of kindness and sincerity to it. But some, something has happened. There might have been some kind of betrayal or there was some kind of, um, uh, I, they're telling me abandonment. No, just like something ended, like a rock bottom and wanting to kind of start over um, or to just clear the air, get some clarity to uh, come to a place of understanding. It's, yeah, that's what I feel like they're saying. Okay, so that we can move on. So there, there may be an element of closure here. Somebody, I feel like you could be seeking closure from somebody. Um, and this is something I feel like is going to happen this week for sure. Um, but I don't see you're going to get a response right away because I feel like someone is not available or maybe even emotionally unavailable. So be prepared that if you are seeking closure from someone or just trying to put something to rest here so that there can be like a new beginning. I feel like your advice really is that if that's something you're seeking or you just want to put that out there towards another person, I feel like it's a right to just say it and then have no expectations of what's going to happen. So either someone, because they're not emotionally available to have that discussion, um, it might leave you just kind of putting it on the back burner and walking away. Or that person is not available to res to respond um, because either they're traveling or they are away. Okay. So if that's something that you're thinking about doing, like if you have a sibling or someone from your past or some kind of situation where you feel like you want to just say your piece and let something go, go ahead. Do it. Um, as long as you are not expecting anything in return either immediately or at all. Um, if you're seeking to rectify something or just find a common ground or bring a truce, um, 
that's a huge weight off lifted off your shoulder so i feel like this week is the week that you could do that okay and you may get a response later from someone um now some of you might have sent something out already to someone and you haven't heard back uh, you might have done that in August. You might have done that on September 8th or somewhere between there if you haven't done it yet. I mean, um, if you've already done it, and I feel like um, this person might not have even received the message. Okay. But the good news is, yeah, there will be healing. If anything, I feel like there will be healing for you in regards to doing that if you have like this desire to do that uh, sometimes you just want to open the release valve a little bit and let off a little steam so that the pressure doesn't build up okay um, if you decide to send a message or you just want to communicate that into the universe and not actually send something to another person it, that might be okay too because that kind of is like um, turning the release valve a little bit here okay so there's healing that's for sure now let me take a look here what's going on with the star of Aquarius energy and the king of wands okay so there is a king of wands masculine or feminine this week Aries Leo Sagittarius who is looking at you like you're something pretty damn spectacular or they're seeing something pretty damn spectacular about you they also want to see you in a bathing suit they want to see you in like little next to nothing in as far as clothing goes <laughs> huh. i get all giggly when we talk about this stuff like come on i'm like a 10 year old but yeah um I may there might be like maybe you have some pictures somewhere of you and like um out swimming or just out in the summer and you know definitely not wearing a heavy coat and a sweater and I feel like this person if there's pictures out there somewhere they're looking at them that's for sure okay if you've sent those pictures or if you have them somewhere there is a fire sign who is looking at your those pictures or a picture of you and they're just like wowed okay so here is an eight of wands. So you're going to be hearing from a king of wands. See, see, when I first started this channel, the emperor, and every, a lot of people can attest to this, the emperor was all over the readings. And then some time went by, and then we went, and somehow the king of swords kept showing up, like almost every reading. And now it seems like it's the king of wands, right? So fire seems to be the front runner here with these readings okay so i feel like yeah here's pisces energy so someone could be on the cusp of pisces aries but i feel like there is someone here um i'm hearing a spiritual star someone views you as like a spiritual star whatever that means so they want to talk to you. This King of Wands wants to talk to you a lot. I feel like this person has like a thing for you. They're like a little bit of a crush or some romantic feelings for you. And um, they've been letting it build and build and build. Kind of piling it up. And when the time is right, um, they're saying September 12th. So what's that, Tuesday? You, I feel like you're going to hear from the King of Wands. And it's going to be a, a huge conversation. And it's going to have a lot to do with their uh, romantic feelings towards you. Like a lot of passion. A tremendous amount of passion for you. Okay. So might be some spiritual talk as well. Let me get some clarifying cards for the Star and the Hanged Man. Oh, look, there's the hermit. Yeah, so this king, um, this fire sign has definitely got their eye on you. Um, they view you as someone who is like very special, but you're also, they also see you that you're kind of hiding or withdrawn. 
in some way. And I, I feel like, I feel like they definitely want to talk to you. Oh, even with this page of swords, or they're fi trying to find out information about you. Definitely trying to find out information about, like, very curious about you. Trying to see the truth. Like, they're trying to get at some truth about you. They, they I don't know if they, they know, do you know this person? You might not. They see you somehow, some way. They also think that you are very self-reflective and that you are someone who, like, you, you trust your guides. You go in for clarity. Like, you're a spiritual illuminator. That's what I feel like with the star and the hermit. Definitely like some kind of spiritual illuminator of some sort. Like you're in the, I don't know if you're in the spotlight or you have something like that going on. But yeah, this week I feel like there's a king of wands that's going to be talking to you for sure. Let me just get one more card for this king of wands. Yeah. Huh. Uh, this king of wands is a little bit of... Um, okay, so they're saying... I don't feel like this they could be a little bit of a bully uh, like they're very assertive um bold fiery they they go after what they want and they get it like they have that way about them oops they're very courageous and they have like this power very confident self-assured and a bit feisty so yeah this is kind of like the energy of this person I don't know if you know this person but I mean there's going to be a lot of communication coming from them. It doesn't mean you're going to be responding. I just feel like there, there's a lot of messages being sent. Um, like it's like something along like uh, sharing some news or some information about or, or to you about something going maybe on in their life. And some changes that are happening it's it might be connected to some type of spiritual thing there's something in common you might have with this person um so if you don't know them i do feel like they're going to be talking to you this week about some spiritual stuff but i can tell you that there's definitely an interest there and there is it kind of is partially romantic you know that cupid's arrows kind of thing but there's no cups here so I don't see an energy of deep feeling, but I do see a lot of affection and admiration from this person towards you. Okay, what else does Virgo need to know? All right, so you've got the Seven of Cups. Nine of Wands, the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Virgo, I see you being very skeptical this week about fantasy and illusion. Absolutely. Like you're hitting, you're hitting hardcore reality this week. You're questioning some stuff that might come up as far as, hmm, I want to say like uh, things that may not seem real, but I also feel like some of you are seeing the truth about someone who ghosted you okay um and putting up boundaries against someone who has ghosted you you know not really like i, I don't know i just kind of get a sense like you stepping back and looking at someone who was up maybe realizing that someone was more of an illusion or uh, just an illusion of something that you wanted and more of a fantasy and seeing how that fan fantasy type relationship may have injured you in some way and kind of like i feel like you're stepping back and looking at it like huh it's just a fantasy <laughs> wasn't real and it's a little painful to some degree for you to kind of see that but i also feel like you you're coming to terms with someone was breadcrumbing you or you know what i mean and also looking forward at the future um i'm just getting this energy that someone was breadcrumbing you and you were and i feel like they were bread they were breadcrumbing with like kindness does that make sense like like someone who was they were 
they were being kind to you to get something in return, uh, like a very much a people pleaser, but they were making themselves seem like um, here with the six of, of cups, like you, you didn't trust that or you don't trust that from someone this week. Like there's this thing where they're giving and giving and giving um, and making themselves se seem like they're in a much higher position and that they're helping everyone who's beneath them because they're fair and reasonable and very charitable. But you're questioning that this week. Like, that was that's a myth. Like, this, was, this person was pretending maybe a people pleaser. So they give, um, they breadcrumb, they give to people who are in a, po a worse position than them. And those people idolize this person because they have nothing really to offer um there's this energy of like you're not trusting this whoever this is this could be a politician this could you know like this could be a politician it could be someone who's in a, a leadership role or someone who kind of um is in a position of i don't like a they're the Uh, maybe some wealth but i don't know virgo you're asking questions you're kind of like what huh that person's fake that's not real don't i, I don't believe that you're definitely questioning <laughs> and i know it said to sound like it'd be a politician you know like they're going to give and give and give here they're going to give out handouts and give all this stuff because they want the vote and people are going to be so grateful for what they give and what they're doing and virgo's like the hell out of here with that that's fake as f <laughs> no you're just giving to get something like you don't really care about other people so yeah virgo it looks like you're questioning your if, if it's a person place or a thing you're like been here done that no you're walking around like you're looking at whoever this person place or thing is this week and you're looking like they're hiding behind a mask it's not real it's all fantasy it's all visions of grandeur and you see right through it so you're either, maybe you're going to change your political party, or maybe you're going to, um, I don't know, you're seeing some truth. That's what I can say. You're questioning this week. <laughs> what else, Virgo? Page of Wands. Five of Cups. Okay. Chariot. Okay. So you do have someone who's going to be messaging you this week is in deep regret and remorse and sorrow. Um, deep regret for abandoning you or not loving you the way you needed to be loved. This person, it could be a cancer. Uh, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, or Scorpio. Um, this person, very melancholy, very sad, misses you a great deal. Um, lover friend family member whomever and i see this person reaching out to you this week traveling um asking if they could pick you up uh if asking inviting you to go somewhere maybe like a trip across the world or um this person could be traveling in your area or inviting you to travel to them definitely all based around this five of cups i'm also hearing a message coming through i regret to inform you that i'm not going to be able to meet you this week or i'm not going to be able to connect this week um, i'm going to be out of town i'm hearing that also Okay, yeah, look, another travel card, the Fool, the Eight of Swords, Temperance, okay, and the World, wow. I see restricted movement this week as well. I also see some kind of mental restriction to be able to come, become free also someone um kind of playing the victim i feel or this kind of like not being able to do something 
because either they're having some kind of mental thing going on this week. It could be hormonal imbalance as well. And um, they're not, not, I feel like not able to free themselves from some kind of hormonal shift. But I do feel like everything does come into balance. Uh, things begin to shift and turn. There is this desire to travel, but someone might have a hard time with traveling. Um, and there's uh, a doctor or a pharmacist <laughs> who kind of finds this great concoction to help someone with mental anxieties or issues, a mental struggle. Even maybe like um, some liquid courage. <laughs> Somebody might decide, you know what, I got to go and do this thing, but you know, I'm just going to take a shot before I go. I just heard that like a little self-medicating as well. Um, somebody just needs to get over a hump, you know, just like a tiny hump. It might not be mental issues. There's just maybe like stage fright and somebody's like, you know what, let me just breathe in a paper bag. Uh, let me just have like a quick shot just before I get just to get over that tiny little hump. I don't feel like someone's an alcoholic or anything like that. I just feel like it's a little of, um, maybe just let me, t let me pop a melatonin so I could just calm down and relax. Or maybe even take something um, like an herbal drink or something. Yeah, uh, because there is this, there is this energy of taking a leap of faith, but it's like, no, <laughs> if I take a leap of faith with this, there's a good chance I might screw this up. I need to be in control of something here. At least some element or feel like I've got it in control. But there's also someone here who's not going to take something and is actually going to take some kind of leap of faith, not knowing what's going to happen, the outcome. And I feel like the, taking some kind of action to legit, spontaneously jump off that cliff, not literally figuratively i mean this could be even like you know hopping out of an airplane and skydiving whatever whatever this thing is i feel like it's going to work out like it's going to be okay right so if you've got something this week where you feel like you have to you have to do it um no matter what you do to get yourself over that threshold everything is going to change your life is going to change like in a very big way everything's going to come into balance you know i kind of always feel like that's the oh and i just heard mount saint helens is going to be big eruption they just said holy shit okay I hate when they give me these like meteorological events. It's like, what the heck? And also, um, I will say with that, there's a couple of hurricanes. Like, oh my gosh, really? There is a couple of hurricanes, but I feel like um, there's a shift in a hurricane. Some of the shifts. So wherever you are in the world, um, these are like running away. Like these... These swirly bird things that are happening out in the ocean are just like a constant deflection. They will just be turning. Okay. Let's see what else do you have this week. Okay. You've got the three of cups. You have strength. Ooh. Some of you have the two of cups. Sorry, Virgo. Some of you are definitely a reunion with a Leo. And there is going to be a new love start between you and a Leo. For others of you, um, you get asked out by either a dental technician or um, a speech therapist. Either, you know, you are one or you get asked out by one. Um, you meet someone. Oh, I also heard a nurse. There's a, a love offer proposal. A date, a connection, like this is a soulmate thing. Um, either it could be a massage therapist. It's someone whose hands on the face or the head. Um, it could be a, a, a vet. It's someone whose hands on touching the skin, touching the face, touching the body. 
that, that they do for a career, okay? So for some of you, it is a reunion with someone where you get proposed to or you get uh, like the love cup or you want to go get drinks or something like that and and then you know there's kind of a social event or a social activity this week maybe towards the end of the week over the weekend but i'll have your weekend reading for you then so we can see if that shows up again but um yeah and now they're telling me September 13th, something's going to come up. So, hey, you might get a birthday. If your birthday's on September 13th, I feel like there might be a birthday um, party. You're having one or it's being held for you. Or someone invites you out for your birthday as well. Oh, look at that. Now you've got the Ace of Cups. So there's definitely new love. Okay. Some of you have um, a new start with... Um, you could have a Scorpio or an Aries. Yeah, there's a love offer coming in. There's a new love beginning um, and a commitment and a marriage and a happily ever after. 11-11. This is a twin flame connection. Could be with a Cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Scorpio, Cancer, Aries, I do feel. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to definitely be those signs, but I'm picking up for whoever needs to hear that or want to hear that. Um, but Virgo, I don't know if you want to... You might be undecided, I feel like, about this Ace of Cups coming in. So, um, so for some of you, it, it could be... Um, Proposal marriage, it could be talking about having children or just a, a new relationship. Um, you might have some options, you may not be decided, um, or you might feel indifferent to this new love start. It could be someone whose initial W or initial M, as in Mike or Mark or Michelle, but there is an invite as well to some kind of family party or a wedding or an anniversary or some kind of um, there might be a new baby or a baby shower that you're invited to you might not be sure you want to go I feel like it's not that you won't but it feels more like you will think about what universe is bringing into you like universe is this is an ace of cups so this isn't something that's coming from a person this is like a grace this is like um the universe bringing you um some kind of um grace uh, something that makes you feel very happy and emotionally fulfilled i see you virgo i have to say i feel like this has happened before and you it looks like perhaps have a tendency to look a gift horse in a mouth. Like you don't trust it. Um, you look at a gift horse <laughs> more like a Trojan horse. Um, <laughs> and I'm not sure why, but I feel like with judgment here, the message is, it's very clear. Like uh, this is like a wake up call. This is a life purpose kind of thing that's coming in. And you are just skeptical. You, you just seem to be very skeptical this week about any like good things. And maybe that's part of your tape changing that we, that, you know, that we saw in the very beginning where um, somehow, somewhere in your past, you got something in your head that told you you weren't worthy of gifts or worthy of blessings. So I feel like this is you being very skeptical but i do see blessings and gifts coming in i see you know even with the four of wands this feels like um i want to say like a homecoming a uh, reunion um establishing a family um happiness joy celebration you know so you've got the four of cups where there's apathy, indifference, 
But also there's a surprise gift coming in for you, which you're not trusting. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, this week is a little bit of you kind of like changing some tapes and trying to see things from a different perspective. And any negative that's going on in your head, um, counteract that with the positive and don't be afraid of that or tell yourself you don't deserve something, right? Because I feel like whatever voice is in your head, it came from a very negative place and it tells you that you're not worthy or that you don't deserve the blessings that are coming in and you do. And But no matter how much someone might tell you that, you actually need to believe, tell yourself that and you actually need to believe it. And you really just have to say, you could say to yourself, if, if, if you don't believe you deserve something, you could say, all right, well, I don't really feel like I deserve it, but I'm going to just pretend. Let me just pretend I deserve it right now and allow it to happen and watch how that starts to change you. Like it's a little bit of where they would say fake it till you, till you make it, right? Kind of trick yourself. And even if you don't agree, like, you know, I don't agree with not having chocolate cake. <laughs> I think everyone should have fuck. Ooh, <gasps> where's this? Like, I'm very passionate about chocolate. Everyone should have, I'm going to bleep that out. Everyone should have chocolate cake, I believe, because it's good. <laughs> Kelly loves cake. Kelly loves chocolate cake. So I don't feel like anyone should go without it, but I do, I know for myself, I should go without it a little more often than not. And so sometimes I have to just kind of tell myself chocolate cake is disgusting and it's like of the devil and it's trying to kill me and I have to trick myself into believing that so I don't go off on some sugar tangent or, you know, put on 8,000 pounds because I could eat chocolate cake all day every day for like the rest of my life, right? So that's what I'm talking about. This is kind of an energy of like, just because you don't feel it, just because you don't believe it doesn't mean you shouldn't try it anyway. Just do it anyway and see what happens. Okay. So those are the overall messages and they're very jumbled, of course, but I wanted to always try to hit a couple of different things. I'm actually going to give you some rebel deck messages. These are a little raunchy, but you know, whatever comes out, these are your messages for the week. Okay. Get some effing sleep, Virgo, this week. You are being an a-hole because you are tired. Face to pillow now. Okay, so if you're listening to this at night, finish it up and go to sleep. You need a good effing cry, Virgo. Get that ugly cry on. Let that ish go. Your soul will thank you. <laughs> Let's see what else. Oh, nice. Stop trying to change people. That ish never works. You do you. Okay, this one says stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. <laughs> and I feel like this is stop the negative talk and shut your mouth and listen to the positive talk. Because they're all about those positive affirmations, right? Just fake it till you make it. Till you actually start believing. Okay. It's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. You are a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming others for your ish. <laughs> there we go. These are like, okay. <laughs> Clicking off and going to find a new Virgo channel. Virgo, how's the Virgo keeping it too real? Okay. So if someone, I feel like if someone was putting negative talk into your head, um, and listen, if you're a child and you grew up with that, it's your parents' fault. Okay. But it's your responsibility to change it. But if an, another adult did that to you and you allowed them to do that, then that's where you have to take accountability. Um, because if they put that planted seeds in your head about who you are and you continue to believe that and live that way, that's your fault. So you got to get in there. Don't blame that person. Take a look at yourself and say, you know what? People are going to do what they're going to do, but I don't have to let them. And that's where the change begins. 
and not believing in the BS. So we're not victim shaming here. But if you want to grow and you want to change, you have to take accountability for your role in things in your life. You are a participator. If you're not participating in your life and you're just allowing other people to dictate to you, you can't get angry and you can't say, you know what I mean? Because you still have to allow it. Shame, regret, and guilt, those are just BS. Forgive and let that ish go. Yep. If you want to get over something, you first have to forgive and then you have to accept the situation exactly as it is or was in order to change. If you are still holding on, you have not accepted something or you have not let it go, right? Because you're still holding on. So those are the messages. I'm going to leave them there. It's kind of short. I changed it up a little bit. I hope you like the shorts. I've changed the shorts up too. Um, so I will upload this for tonight and I will see you guys back here on Monday for um i'm either gonna do who's coming towards you or i might just do a random reading we'll see how it goes thanks everyone for donating to the coffee fund i super super appreciate you for that and if you want to book a reading i do have a special for september go over and check that out birthday discount for you guys i hope you have a very happy birthday let me see if anyone else has a birthday today it is as i'm recording this it is september 10th don't see anyone here that Persephone has given me but if you do have a birthday and you want a shout out just leave it in the chat and um, if Persephone is able to get your name your YouTube name she lets me know and I'll give you a birthday shout out all right you guys so um, I will see you all back here tomorrow love ya take care My heart rages around like an ocean